Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. There is an Office of Inspector General report that is calling out the VA for not appropriately applying COLA, the cost of living adjustment, that pay increase that we expect every year. Well, unless it's a zero, and then we don't expect it, but we still do. In any case, this is really disturbing because there's two things that are happening here. One, people were overpaid. Two, people were underpaid. And guess what? One, if they don't figure out that they underpaid you, well, now they've shortchanged you and made your life crappy for X years. I believe it was 2016. We're going to jump into it here in a minute. So 2016 to now is eight years. That's eight years of potentially mis, uh, misaligned percentages, which uh, is actually pretty frustrating. Go figure, right, that the VA has screwed up. Now, I'm going to read through the Office of Inspector General report. We'll talk about it a little bit. We'll keep an eye on this as well. So please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. The two asks are really look. Hit the thumbs up and let the video run. Those two things alone help to really spread the word uh, to all of our brothers and sisters. So thank you so much for that. If you want to support the channel in other ways, consider being a member. You can do that by going to the homepage. You'll see the highlighted members there and a join button. Thank you so much to all you members. I truly appreciate you. I do my best to get back to you in the comments uh, and acknowledge your comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so let's jump into this. So on the Department of Veterans Affairs Office of Inspector General website, as you drill into it a little bit, there's a um, the report. Well, I'll give you the headline. The headline is VBA, which is the Veterans Benefits Administration, did not always properly implement compensation cost of living adjustments. The VBA, Veterans Benefits Administration, did not always properly implement cost of living adjustments for compensation. That's horrific. The issue date is July 25th, 2024. So not too long ago. I mean, it's a, a month and a week or whatever. Uh, moving on, uh, VA office, right? The VBA, um, there's just some other basic information. Moving on. Getting down to the summary of it, uh, we'll read this. There's three paragraphs here. Uh, so VA provides, they give a little brief description real quick. This, this part's short, so stick with me. VA provides tax-free monthly compensation payments to veterans for service-connected disabilities, including special monthly compensation for certain serious disabilities, which SMC, right? We've, we've talked about that before, uh, and people should be fairly aware of uh, that whole other rating schedule. So uh, moves on. So for certain serious disabilities for compensation uh, and combinations of disabilities. So as part of this uh, Veterans Benefits Administration oversight, the VA Office of Inspector General identified instances where VBA, the Veterans Benefits Administration, did not properly implement annual disability compensation cost of living adjustments. That's frustrating in itself. Moving on, first, oh, that already alludes that there's more than one. Wonderful. First, the OIG, Office of Inspector General team, found that certain special monthly compensation amounts had been calculated incorrectly for each annual COLA since December 1st, 2016. The important part here for us to realize is two things. One, on this first thing that the Office of Inspector General found is special monthly compensation. If you're receiving special monthly compensation, they're talking to you. Two, second important thing in this first piece is the uh, special monthly compensation amounts had been calculated incorrectly for each annual COLA since 2016. Each. That's every single year they did it wrong for you. So that's an important piece. And, and at the end of this, we'll talk about what action I would take um, if this was, uh, if I fell into these buckets. So moving on. Second. So here's the second thing. Second, the OIG team, Office of Inspector General team, found that the increased amounts for disability compensation, additional compensation for dependents and clothing allowance 
So dependence, if you have a spouse, children, parent dependence, whatever it is, if you have a parent identified, child identified, spouse identified as a dependent and you're receiving money because you get a bump for dependence, they're talking to you. If you have a clothing allowance, they're talking to you. All right, so let's move on. For the COLA effective December 1st, 2022, so a year and a half ago, we're not published in the Federal Register as required by law. VBA received the Federal Register notice signed by the VA Secretary containing the increased amounts. However, VBA, the Veterans Benefits Administration, did not forward the notice to the next office for publication. Although the increased amounts were available on VA's website, including them in the Federal Register, is an important is important because it is the official publication for notices of federal agencies and organizations. So in my mind, you don't really have anything to worry about for dependents and for clothing allowance. This is more of an internal notification aspect, but it sounds as though, although we have another paragraph, so I hope that uh, there's nothing else. So at this point, it's special monthly compensation, you have a call to action uh, for those with dependents and uh, clothing allowance, but no special monthly compensation. Sounds like you're okay. It's just the VA didn't follow the proper procedures as far as notification is concerned. Last paragraph. In 2023, the OIG team notified VBA representatives of the improper implementation of these compensation COLAs, cost of living adjustments, that pay increase. The VA OIG issued the Management Advisory Memorandum to formally and transparently convey this information so that VBA, the Veterans Benefits Administration, can determine if additional actions are warranted. The OIG requested that VBA inform the OIG of what action, if any, VBA takes regarding the incorrect special monthly compensation amounts identified in this memorandum and the increased disability compensation amounts effective December 1st, 2022 that were not published in the public, or I mean in the federal register. All right, so what would I do if I was receiving special monthly compensation specifically? I would probably reach out to an accredited representative, let them know that, hey, I was aware, uh, I came aware through the Office of Inspector General, and you can Google search that, uh, Office of Inspector General, VA, uh, incorrect, COLA, something like that. It should pop up. You could find it. Share that with your accredited uh, representative and tell them that you just want to make sure that your special monthly compensation was correct. They can put in for a request to the VA to essentially do an audit to make sure that they have all the numbers correct for you specifically. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.